أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم حضرت فروخ رحمة الله عليه وتعالى His wife is expecting This is for us to understand who has understood deen Did we understand or they understood His wife is expecting His tashkeel is made in the masjid to go in the path of Allah He comes home, young wife, newly married, recently married. He comes home and he tells her that I am going in the path of Allah. There it was not like us. How long are you going for? You need my permission. This must happen, that must happen. It was not like us. They, their living was for Akhirat. Their dying was for Akhirat. They had Allah and their and Rasul Salaam in front of them. And they had the deen of Allah in front of them. She makes ravana of him. She's expecting. He goes in the path of Allah to Istanbul, towards Istanbul. One month passes, two months pass, three months pass, four months pass. Months upon months are passing. And it wasn't like us. I'm going for one chilla. I'll phone you also and I'll send texts also. No message comes. Jamaat return from the path of Allah. Jamaat coming to Medina. Each time the news comes to this woman in the four walls of her home that the Jamaat has returned, her aspirations build up. Perhaps news has come of Farooq. Or perhaps Farooq has returned. Like this, there are so many among them. Aspirations build up only to be destroyed. Only for our hopes and aspirations to die. There is no news of Farooq. There is no news of Farooq. Is he alive or is he dead? There is no news. One year goes, two years go, three years go, five years go, ten years pass. Her youth is finished. Within the four walls of that home, all those hopes and aspirations of a young bride who is newly married, I will make the home with my, my home with my husband. I will bring up my family. I will do this with my husband. They were also in San. I will do that with my husband. All this slowly is eaten up and eaten up and eaten up and concealed till eventually all that hope is finished. All those aspirations die within her. Twenty years past. Twenty-seven years later. Twenty-seven years later. It is night time in Medina Munawara and a lonely singular traveler comes into riding his horse into the streets of Medina, hesitantly, slowly, his eyesight has weakened. When he left Medina, he was young, his hair was black, now the hair has become white. His beard is white, hunched over his horse, cautiously he turned into Medina, wondering, I left a wife behind. She was expecting, is my wife alive? Is my child alive? Was it a male? Was it a female? Is my home still where it was? Hesitantly, his horse trots along until he comes to where his home was. He enters into the yard of that home. Rabia, hears the sound. He comes out and he grabs hold of Farooq. Ya Adu wa Nafsik, O enemy of yourself, you have come into the property of a Muslim in Medina without his permission. Farooq Rahmatullahi pleads that, O son, Oh youngster, I thought it was my home. I thought it was my home. Rabia's anger is increased that you are lying upon this. You are speaking, how can you think this is your home? Who are you? The mother, hearing a commotion outside, opens the door. And in front of her, she sees not the husband that got married to her 27 years ago, but the aged version of that same husband. He had left when his hair was black, now his hair has become white. He had left with the freshness of youth on him, now he has come back in old age. She looks at him, thinking immediately refreshed within her heart, that how many times over those years, Rabi had asked that where is my father? How many times over those years, and her hopes raised up, that one day my husband will come back, one day I will be able to build my home, Till eventually, the life has passed in this, within these four walls, till every hope and every aspiration died. But taking relish, 
taking consolation from the fact that Allah's deen is coming alive. Allah's deen is coming alive. My akhirat is being made. When she sees him, she screams. She screams. Rabia gets a shock and he runs to his mother. She says, she says, Oh Rabia, that is your father. Oh Rabia, that is your father. He falls down onto his knees, begging forgiveness from Farooq. Farooq picks him up, embraces his family. The whole night is spending Kaar Guzari, telling his wife of what had happened over the long period of time. The Adhan for Fajr goes. And Rabia goes toward the Masjid and Nabawi. He performs Salah. After Fajr Salah, he comes and stands in front of the Roda. In those days, the Roda of Rasulullah used to be outside the Masjid. Twenty-seven years of separation. What was their love for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? He stands and offers his salam to Nabi Yafaq sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with tears rolling down his eyes. And then he sees that a big majma, a big gathering has gathered in the masjid and birth is going on. Because of the weakness of his sight, he could not see who is conducting the dance. He goes to someone sitting in the back and he asks that who is the ustad, who is the teacher. Normally a shagir or a pupil of his ustad will not hold anything back in praising his Ustad. Don't you know who that is? Don't you know who it is? Imam of Medina, Ustad of Sufyan Sori. That is Rabia, Ustad of so-and-so, Ustad of so-and-so. So Farooq tells him, Len ten tasibhu ilayya. You have not mentioned anything about his lineage. Whose son is it? He says that is Rabia bin Farooq. It is the son of Farooq. His father 27 years ago went in the path of Allah and no one knows what happened to him. Farooq, with tears in his eyes, raises his hands and makes shukr to Allah that Allah has not destroyed his person. This sunnah has died. This sunnah has come out of the ummah. That understanding that this ummah was sent for qurbani, this ummah was sent for sacrifice, this ummah was not sent for this dunya. Quran declares, لا يستوي القاعدون من المؤمنين غير للقرر والمجاهدون في سبيل الله بأموالهم وأنفسهم. The one sitting at home, the one sitting at home, and the one striving in the path of Allah, the two will never be equal. Allah's qasam. Allah's qasam, the two will never be equal. Fadjal Allahu al-Mujahideen, the amali iman fukim, Allah qaideen a darajah. Allah has given fadilat, Allah has given superiority, Allah has given dignity, Allah has given honor to the one striving in the path of Allah over the one sitting at home.